Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to study a very basic concept of analog electronics and our problem statement is how to find the gain across a, a MOS. Okay, so <clears throat> this concept is for people who are studying electronics, any form of electronics or probably doing a course on electronics like electronic devices, analog and digital VLSI design, etc, etc. Right, so we are supposed to find what is the gain across a MOS, right? Now, in order to find gain, we must define it. A gain is defined as V out by V in where, I'm sorry about that, V out is the voltage sensed at the output terminal and V in is the voltage applied to the input terminal, all right? This is how we define gain. So if V out is equal to 0 0.5 and V in is equal to 5, then gain will be 0 0.1, all right? This is in volts. All right. Now before we move forward, I'd like to make a few assumptions on your knowledge over here. I assume that you already know the basics of MOS physics and MOS structure. You must know what is channel and modulation, you must know what is body effect, you must know what is the current through a transistor if a particular voltage is applied at the gate terminal. If you do not know all this, I'd suggest that um, both of these concepts can be covered through the link in the given in the description. This link leads to a book in which all of these topics are covered. So before moving forward, I'd suggest that you have, you know, just give it a read and I'm sure that after you read it properly, you will understand what I'm saying. All right, let's move on. So let's draw our circuit over here. We have, now we know that MOSs are of two coins, P MOS and N MOS. In this case, we are considering an N MOS. All right, so let's go ahead and draw our circuit. We have VDD over here which is connected to our uh, resistance we are taking the output over here and we have our Mr. MOS or Mr. N MOS connected over here since it's an N MOS the arrow comes over here and this is connected to ground this is ground. This is the source terminal, the drain terminal, the gate terminal, and we are giving input to the gate terminal. This resistance is defined to be RD. Now, if you are not understanding any of this, I suggest you again go to this link over here, go read the book, and you'll understand. I'm sure. All right. Now, when we find gain, the method of finding gain is done through a method of small signal and to find gain we draw a model which is known as the small signal model now what is a small signal model a small signal model as the name suggests includes small signals as in it includes small variations in vn and we map the map corresponding and we map corresponding V out the corresponding changes in V out so since these variations are really really small all right so we are taking the changes in input and we are finding out the changes in the output so the gain essentially now becomes delta V out upon delta Vn. Now, if you take Vdd over here, this is a constant value. This is not changing. So delta Vdd is equal to 0. So essentially what is happening is that a voltage of 0 is being applied over here in reality. All right, let's move forward. So we know that a voltage is zero of 0 is being applied over here. This is Rd. This is V out. This is your ground, source, train, gate, input. Now you know that ID is equal to, ID is the current flowing from drain to source through the transistor. This is ID is equal to VGS into GM, where GM is the transconductance. All right. Now what is VGS? VGS is equal to VG minus VS is equal to V in 
minus 0. Now why is V is equal to 0? Because if you see that S terminal over here, Mr. S has directly been connected to the ground. Therefore, V S is equal to 0 equals V G S. So, I D becomes V N into G N. All right. Now we're sensing output from over here. Let this be node A, let this be node B. All right. And I'm saying that a current is flowing through this direction. Now, since output is being sensed over here, the terminal over here is open. That means the current flowing through this I dash is equal to zero. Therefore, I over here and ID over here will be equal. So I is equal to ID. Since no current flows through here, the all the current flowing through here goes in this direction. Therefore, I is equal to ID. All right. Now apply Ohm's law across A and B. VB minus VA upon RD is equal to ID. Now what is VB? VB is actually V out. Since output is sensed from the no node of B, therefore, what is the voltage of what is the output voltage? The voltage at B, which is equal to VB. So VB is equal to V out. Change colors. What is VA? VA is remember it's connected to ground over here. Therefore, V A is equal to zero. So putting it in, V B is V out minus V A is zero upon R D equals I D. V out upon R D. Put in the value of I D. What was the value of I D? I D is equal to V N into G M. So I D equal to V N into G M. Now divide the both sides by V in. This becomes V out upon V in into 1 by R D is equal to V in G M by V in. Right, this V in gets cancelled. V out upon V in is equal to G M R D. Remember that gain was equal to V out by V in. Therefore, gain of this circuit is simply equal to GM times RD. Now what is GM? GM is the transconductance and RD is resistance which is connected between VDD and drain terminal. right we have finally figured out the game so this was a very simple example or uh, to calculate game there are complex ones so um, for more complex analysis watch my other videos so i hope really you really understand what i was trying to teach over here and i hope that you will you know uh, you are a step closer to you know mastering electronics if that's your dream but yeah anyway i'm just happy to help you so cheers